Good evening and welcome to Hillsborough for the first competitive Sheffield derby since 1994. Tremendous atmosphere in the ground, 32,000 here, 7,500 from the red and white half of the city. Well, it's really raucous at Hillsborough, and so it should be for an occasion such as this. Wednesday certainly brimming with confidence after their recent performances, and that looked like a handball by Bruno Ribeiro, and that's got to be a caution. Stupidity from the Portuguese player. The former Leeds United man thrust out his hand, and referee Lodge, who doesn't stand around, will take the name of Rivero for a deliberate handball. The referee has no option in circumstances like that. The problem for Rivero now comes that he's got to go through the rest of the match walking a tightrope. Seabon can hit them and he will hit it but it's taken a deflection and it never really got off the deck the referee Lodge is going to step in again here and he wants words with uh, Anthony Koku and uh, well that's quickly balancing out the uh, previous caution I think Stephen Haslam uh, Stephen Haslam, who's actually showed the yellow card to referee Lodge, determined to stamp his authority in the game very early on. Let's have a look what goes on here. Haslam, uh, oh yeah, he digs in very sharply. No question of it being Haslam. So both sides letting the others know that they're here for battle here's a Devlin chance for Sheffield United trying to chip Pressman has to be cleared comes up the bar Pressman does make a double save to deny Marcus Bent and uh, also David Kelly Devlin here looking to chip Pressman gets a touch up onto almost off the cross there off the crossbar by Westwood and finally falls on the ball here goes Ikoku now, and he's booked by Ullenbeck, and the referee gives the free kick. So Ikoku uh, causing one or two problems, as he's looking to build a relationship up there with uh, Gerald Seabon. Although I know that Paul Jewell is quite anxious to get Andy Booth back in action his injury problems recently will be played in by Morrison it's a useful wall and a flick header and Anthony Koku has risen there and the ball is in the United net and Koku has his first goal as a Sheffield Wednesday player the blue half of Sheffield is singing and Anthony Koku's first goal for his new club could not have come against better opponents from their point of view a little glancing header it's into the corner beyond Simon Tracy. It's Wednesday 1, United 0, first blood to the home team. Lovely free kick from Young Morrison and a gliding header from Anthony Koku. His last goal, believe it or not, in this country was scored on this ground, but for Wimbledon against Chevy Wednesday, he's got one for them now. Are oh, they joyful?
Barnsley on the counter. No foul, and the referee had to say had a perfect view of that, but possession could have squandered very easily by Kelly. So away goes Alan Quinn. One against two, and he's done really well so far. Quinn, and he got a bit excited, and the Wednesday defence got excited too. A shot that's parried by Tracy. And it's Wednesday hearts that are just beating a little faster at the moment as United look for an equaliser. Quinn will drift it in. It's a header from Murphy. Tipped over the top from Pressman. Sean Murphy has a knack of scoring goals. He's got a couple this season. Both at Bramall Lane, but this one at Hillsborough would have been really precious for the Australian. Pressman's been kept busy at the moment. Good delivery. Flicked header from Murphy, and it was dipping under the bar. United with another corner, and he holds on to Pressman this time. He's having a good night. And we've had 32 minutes. It's United in full flow with Montgomery. Keeps the ball in, angles it across. Confusion, equaliser. Michael Brown. Cuckoo, Cuckoo, block the chance. Oh, off the upright. Morrison. Well, we've seen the uprights wrapped at both ends of the field by young players, and it's Owen Morrison who is inches away from what would have been a sixth goal of his first season. Well, this is almost an identical situation from the position for the goal, when Morrison drifted it in, and I thought Ikoku got the faintest of touches. Oh, that was an even more open chance. Ashley Westwood trying to repeat his heroics of the weekend against Fulham in space, and these Morrison free kicks are a real thorn in United's side. Perfect from Morrison, perfect from Westwood, perfect from Tracy. Neil Warnock on the far side, and, uh, Paul Jewell closest to him, good friends. And there's a mistake here, and Wednesday have a chance with Hampshire, kept out by Tracy's knees. Well, 18-year-old Matthew Hampshire had the chance to win some glory for his side there. Here he goes. Skips past the challenge, hits the shot well. Acute angle, good save. Tracy has not managed to keep another clean sheet tonight, but he's up there, he's in there defending with the rest. But it's uh, come all the way back for uh, another cross. This doesn't get very far. It's in here, Ikoku on side! Well, you cannot believe it. Effort Ikoku in behind every single Sheffield United defender and he had the whole goal to aim at and put it wide Lescott transfers it Ikoku darts in and nine times out of ten you'd have backed him well that would definitely have been his goal a moot point as to how much of a touch he got on the one that he's credited with well, what a great opportunity there early skirmish but it's only gone as far as Hampshire he has an eye for a goal he's also got an eye for a pass out to Morrison Owen oh, Morrison overly ambitious that time well, wincing at the moment I think from a bang he's taken rather than from anguish at the shot in the occasion of a Sheffield derby and uh, another couple coming up of course in the first division which way to go Gerald Simon rolls it nicely here's a thumping try but very very high from Crane too high, the two tallest men on the field out there, combining Sibon first, Crane second. Well, that's 
Murphy using his chest and his right boot to locate Devlin. Try to angle it in there, but it's broken for Hampshire. Then for Ikoku. Away goes Ikoku once more. Sibon desperately trying to get up into the penalty area. Ikoku might strike a shot. And he pulled it. But a rare Wednesday for it there. And a rare shot for them as well. From F and Ikoku. He didn't have many options to be fair. Look at that. No blue shirts in the picture. A couple arriving then, but he'd already been his mind to have a go. minutes and still they can't sort this little battle out it's one apiece and so we will go into 30 minutes of extra time the fans loving every minute of it 30 more minutes to go to see whether Sheffield Wednesday who won the League Cup of course are back in the 1991 season or Sheffield United who've never got beyond the fifth round will be going through tonight Morrison now for Wednesday. He's got one man on his left, and that man is Sibon. He'll hit it cross field for Hampshire. Nowhere much for him to go, so he's returned it for Sibon, who does have a go for goal this time. And uh, the angle well covered by Simon Tracy. Wednesday come out with the ball. Lescott nicks it through. DPAD here. Well, he looks exactly as the Italian footballers are supposed to look, doesn't he, DPAD? And he was into the six-yard area there, promising to become a hero, but couldn't quite turn it beyond Tracy. Nine minutes are left in extra time. There's a good header from Sibon to locate Morrison. Crane... Seems to stumble, but comes out with the ball. Useful looking ball in here. Ikoku is over the line. Effort Ikoku finds the goal that may win the derby for Wednesday. It wasn't the prettiest, but they love it. Wednesday back in the lead. And Effany Koku dragged to the ground in celebration. Well, that's what it means to them. It's in over the top of DPAD. A little touch from him. It comes down and it goes in. Here's the ball from Morrison. It's the same one two that gave Wednesday the lead. And Effany Koku flings himself. And Tracy can't keep it out and nor can anybody else. The place is rocking. The Owls two, the Blades one, and are the Owls on their way through? Can United save their skins? Referee Lodge looks at his watch, it's flicked on here, and it's booted high into the stand on the far side. It's Sheffield Wednesday's night. And Effany Koku, in his first derby game, has got the goals that make it all joy for the blue and whites and all sorrow for the red and whites. His early goal and the one he got in extra time, sufficient to make him uh, a hero on the night. He's written into Sheffield Wednesday folklore for getting his first goals for the club against the old enemy. And although Sheffield United came back with the first half equaliser from Michael Brown, they couldn't do it again. And so it's Sheffield Wednesday who celebrate Paul Jewell's first derby match. They've beaten Neil Warnock's United 2-1. 